And we're back with another little bit of Hollywood history. This time we're between Vine Street and Santa Monica Boulevard, so right in the middle of Hollywood. And as you can see behind me, this is Buster Keaton's old studio. Roll tape. Another thing we didn't do in those days that they do today is we didn't rehearse a scene to perfection. We didn't want that because we got, it was mechanical then. For any of our big roughhouse scenes, where there's a lot of falls and people hitting each other, or whatever, we never rehearsed those. Because when we did those roughhouse scenes, if you had to do it the second time, invariably somebody skinned up an elbow or bumped a knee or something like that, now they'll shy away from it the next take. Buster Keaton, along with Douglas Fairbanks, Roscoe Arbuckle, Laurel Hardy, he was one of those huge movie stars of the silent era. And I think the reason why he survived a little bit more over the years than they have is because of his most incredible stunts. He was very famous for it at the time and we still love watching those kinds of things in big action movies today. And he was the real pioneer of that whole type of filmmaking. There's something I really like here. They installed Buster Keaton's commemorative plaque about him and his studios here in the wrong place. And they did this in the 80s, and it was only in 2018 that they realized this is not where his studios were, they're over there. So they installed a new plaque in front of that building just six years ago. So today we have the nice image presenting Buster Keaton in the rightful place, and of course the new updated plaque also in the right place, with a mention of Charlie Chaplin and when he used to work here in 1916 with Mutual Films. He spent a whole year in this production studio. And next to it, a little plaque explaining the correction of the other plaque, just to make sure everybody knows that there was a mistake that was made. Isn't that great? Buster Keaton would have run this studio from 1920 to 1928, 1928 being a really significant year in the history of Hollywood because that was the beginning of the talkies, and a lot of artists just like Buster Keaton didn't make it past the silent era. This was subsequently torn down and rebuilt as whole new studios. The difference being though that back then, studios didn't have a roof. They would just take in as maximum amount of sunlight that they could because the cameras weren't that professional at gathering light. Today, of course, the focus is soundproofing everything, which they didn't need to worry about back then. But if you look around, everything on this corner is still a production studio or a sound stage or a rental company. In other words, what Charlie Chaplin and Buster Keaton started right here is still going on 100 years later. <laughs> 